very cold up here in Colorado. And right now, we, there, it's very frosty. <laughs> Take a bow. Good job. <laughs> That was, a, that was a good recap of the morning. <laughs> yes, it is. Very frosty this morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the mountains of Colorado. Today is going to be one of our last days up here, and we are we're celebrating because today it's an open sky. It was frosty. It was cold last night. It was freezing. But the clouds have moved out, and we are not getting rained on this morning. And we've been waiting to do OSG special cinnamon rolls. And today is the day. It only happens two times a year. It's usually on a camping trip of some sort and around the holidays. Christmas, Thanksgiving, something like that. So, very special. So, you guys are uh, getting to witness the makings of the cinnamon rolls. And then I think after that, I mean, we're going for a hike. And I am taking uh, my breakdown fly rod. And we're going to be doing some, uh, some mountain stream fly fishing. <laughs> All right, guys, first step, we are going to get some actual charcoal briquettes going. And we have those in our little Weber Madoodle right here. Those are on fire, so I'll just set those to the side. And we're gonna use those to cook with. We've got some natural coals that we can brush over if we want to as well. But having those on top is key. It's key because we're using a Dutch oven. If you've never seen a Dutch oven before, it is basically a big uh, cast iron pot, <sighs> but it has the ability to put coals from the fire on top. And that lip will hold those coals in there. It also has some little legs, so you can put it just right over the coals and then put heat on top as well. I want to try something this year that we haven't tried before. What's that? I rewatched our video from, I think it was last year. And somebody very smartly <laughs> didn't think about this. Said to go ahead and preheat your your uh, your oven, your cast iron, your Dutch oven. Preheat your oven. Yeah, okay. just like you would at home. We've never done that. We just like so stick it in. So preheat cold. it by just kind of sticking it in there yeah. a little bit. Uh huh. Thank you, fans of the channel. And I'm gonna go get the liner. The key is to get even distribution. With a natural fire, it's it's pretty hard to get even distribution. But with the with the briquettes, we can, we can cheat a little bit. Okay, OSG has pre-made, they aren't cooked, but the pre-made cinnamon rolls. We've got butter and we've got liners for the old lodge here, which is now preheated. We are preheated, ready to deploy paper. All right, so if you haven't done this before, one of the tricks is to not get your liner outside of the pan, otherwise you'll get ash when you go to open it up. Oh yeah. Nicely preheated, so it's browning perfectly. Yeah, it's great. I'm glad we did that. There we go. Put the liner in there. Oh, look at that, we're Ooh. using the butter as a tool. Put the liner in. Get that in there so it doesn't stick. I like it. I like it too. I can throw a ring. So I'm gonna go ahead and suggest don't put as many on the bottom because the bottom's already pretty hot. Okay. Deploying cinnamon rolls. Now you could use Pillsbury. And I honestly <laughs> I was about to cheat this trip and do that because I have pre prepped so much other food for this trip. But you just wouldn't let me do it, would you? I wouldn't let you do that. I think I don't think you'd be happy with yourself. I wouldn't. I'd feel like a cheater. I'd feel like a liar. So yes, these are homemade. Never. Oh, they're already starting to cook. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Now at home I do 350 for 25, 20 minutes. Um, Out here it's, we don't know. We don't know. We're just gonna go with it. All right. Now I'm gonna pour some coals out. Okay. A little flat spot right here. All right. I'm not gonna do as many on the bottom. Yeah, I'd rather cook from the top more. Is 
Just kind of get those in a little circle, put that on top. Okay. And we will sprinkle it with the briquettes. Okay. That's probably good. Oh yeah, that's funny. And this is literally the stick we used last year, my pot hanger that I made. On your tripod. Yeah, it has stayed in my truck. Waiting for this moment. Waiting for this moment. All right, let's set a timer. I would say start at 15 and then check from there. Okay. Whoa! 15 minutes is up. Let's see what we got rolling around in here. Hopefully a good cinnamon. I feel like I can smell them, but I think that's just me. I think, they're, to... I think they're done? I don't know. Probably not. Hmm. Um, I think the top needs a little hold on, more. Hold on. I can... No, I think they're done. Okay. They're done. Nobody step on these. These are very hot. Okay, we're gonna try something different this year. I think the last two years we did, I did a mason jar of icing, and then I did another glass jar of icing last year, and it just, it worked, but then you can't get all of it out. So this time, I just did it in a bag. I'm gonna snip the bottom of it and kind of squeeze it, just like a typical icing tube. And then after you're done, you just throw it away. A whole lot me. less mess. Show me the nipple. Right there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Just dab them up. Look at that. All right. Perfect. And that I went ahead and good. warmed it up in our camper so it'd be nice and juicy. All right, we're taking these out right now. You know, last year we had a little sticking on the bottom. This year, absolutely perfect bottoms. Oh, my goodness. Perfect bottoms. We're gonna dip that, re-dip that in some icing right there. It's a little bit of maple bacon. What do you think about that? Those I look, think it's perfect. Those are perfect. So 15 minutes, more coals on the top than the bottom. Preheating. Yes, preheating I think Thank was key. Thank you to uh, one of our fans for suggesting that. This is the best ever. The best performance oh, so good. on the cooking. Ever. I think we finally figured it out. That 15 minute mark. Yeah, I'm glad we did 15, otherwise they would have been way overcooked with the 20. Surprisingly, they cooked faster up here. Never gotten the bottoms that good. The well, we did less. Made. Yeah, we did less on the bottom. Less coals on the bottom than on the top. So they cooked more from the top, which is, I guess, a game changer. Gosh. So good. Mm. Did that. Incredible. The icing trick, too. I think that was perfect. Now we got this calorie intake. <laughs> it's time to do a little hiking, a little fishing. Mm -hmm. Perfect start to our last day. cinnamon rolls now with a beautiful view. I just heard a bald eagle. What do you think about this view? It's a pretty good view, huh? Yeah. I think, I think mom's gonna be, she's gonna be stopping for photos. We're stopping for photos, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Selfies. Now we're gonna hike a few miles. We ran into uh, some elk hunters on the way in here. So they hadn't spotted any yet. Been so muddy, nasty. Oh my gosh, what a view! What a view, guys! Wow, these shoots right here. I'm 
No fat wood. All right, we got our morning hike in, and we still got a couple of hours, I think, until the rain really starts coming in. So Dad's got his Dad's got his fly rod, fly vest. I'm walking down here to a spot that I've never fished, but I've always wanted to. The water's actually a lot higher this year, and the the tail waters, these uh, these waters that are heading in into the lake and out of the lake, are just better looking. So there's a couple little pools here I want to hit leading into this lake and then right down into the lake, I've been seeing trout surfacing over there, just kind of scouting from above. So I'm going to start at this first little pool that I see down here and I'm going floating, floating mode. I'm not even bringing my nymphing pole. So we're going to try some dry fly and just some slow sinking nymphs. Let's see if we can get any trout. There's some big brown trout that actually start moving up the rivers to spawn. We're a little early for it, but there might be some staging at the lower end of the lake. So let's go. Let's see if we can get a good, good trout on the line. Hopefully a big brown. Okay, I don't see anything right now in this pool, but a lot of these cutthroats are tiny. And they blend in really well. So we might, we might be able to get a cutthroat. Picturesque, but I don't see any. All right, guys, I'm just walking down here until I see some surfacing activity. Like I've seen up. Oh, there's one right there. I think this is a, kind of a dry fly deal. Just put on a little dry fly. And I'm still seeing them. right here oh my gosh there's a school of them oh my gosh guys we are like oh my gosh he ate it right away that's a good brown it's a good brown oh my gosh it's a good brown holy noggins oh my gosh he ate it on top guys Did you get one? oh he's running this is a good brown all right we just gotta net him he absolutely hosed it oh god he's still running There's big ones. There's big ones in here. I'm trying to stay low because there's more. I'm trying to sight fish these guys. I bet you got these guys are staging for the spawn. Oh gosh, good round. Come here. These things just fight. They fight like the dickens. Oh, he absolutely hosed that dry fly. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful trout. Oh my gosh, that's my biggest brown ever, guys. That is my biggest brown ever. Holy cow. It looked huge. I know they get a lot bigger than this, but for me, this is incredible. I'm shaking. Got him right there in the corner of the mouth. Oh man, all the hair just came off that fly. It sucks. They have some teeth. I didn't even realize they had they had teeth like that. Alright, buddy, you're all wrapped up. I'm trying to get you out. Oh my gosh, they have teeth. I didn't realize. They have teeth like I did not realize, guys. Oh, look at this brown. Uh, Biggest brown trout of my life, right there. 
All right, I'm gonna measure him from my net. He's as wide as my net. I'm gonna let him go here in the rain. Oh my gosh, that was, I was so hoping that these would be browns up in here. I think they're staging. This is incredible. All right, I got like half a fly on here. Just gonna fling it out there. It, se it seems like they were, they were about to fight over that anyways. They just want it kind of on top. Now that it's raining, I can't see them. There's one right there. One just emerged. It's like it's got to be, it's got to be floating on top. Oh God, he got it. Got him. Another brown. Dandy. Quite as big as the last one, but another pretty one. Come here, buddy. Get you in the net. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. This is this is insane. I was not expecting this when I woke up this morning, but wow, I am a lucky dude. Ah, there goes the fly, what's left of it? Oh my gosh, these are, these are great browns, great size for me. I know they get like 40 inches long, but this is insane. This is insane for little old me. but uh, I just know they spawn around October and I'm just using kind of my, my bass sense. Like this is where I would stage if I was spawning up river. Oh, please hold off rain, please hold off. This is gonna be the best day of brown trout fishing in my life if I can get just a couple hours. Oh my God, a giant. Oh my God, it was about to eat it too. This is a giant, this is a giant, it's a giant, it's a giant, it's a giant. Oh my God, it wants it, it wants it. Oh my God, did he eat it? Oh my God, this is a giant. This is this is like a 24 incher. Holy, this is a big one. Biggest brown of my life. Might have spooked him. Oh. Oh my God, these are huge. There's like five or six of them that are giants, guys. Giants. I need, to, I need to change my fly. They were a little spooked by it. Oh God, no, don't blow wind. Don't blow. These are, these are twice the size of the ones I was catching. Megalodons. All right, one more blind cast, and then I'm, I'm gonna switch to a fly that I can keep dry. I think that's gonna be key. Oh, those were huge. Holy moly. Shaking right now. Just put on a fresh dry fly. Put some uh, stuff on it to help it float. And all we need is just we need 30 minutes of not what it's doing right now. 
this rain. These are huge browns that are coming in. Like big females. I almost had them. They were charging my fly. Insane. I just, I can't see them right now. It's too dark. I'm gonna pause the camera. I've, I have a feeling it's gonna stop. I can feel a little sunshine. Then they get this nice slick water. They'll be able to see my bug. So I'm gonna pause. Oh my God, giant, giant on it. Holy smokes. I just saw the wake. It's right on it. He's right on it. He's right on it. Oh. It's obviously something they just don't like. They're coming up to it. They're just not eating it. Oh my God, giant. Didn't eat it though. I don't know how I missed it. That was like a topwater popper bite. Well, I don't think the weather's gonna get any better. Where I can see these browns, this really stinks because I saw the biggest brown trout of my life. I saw a two or three of them similar size seems like the only way i can get them to bite is to kind of head them off see where they're going and sight cast them all right that's gonna do it for me it's getting wet and cold i've got to get firewood i wish i could stay here all day and i would if it was me by myself but we got to take care of the fam well, the storm got the best of me. I was not able to see those brown trout anymore, which was a bummer because I really think that that was a good opportunity for me to catch a, a giant. I could see those, those big fish. I was just sight fishing for them, just kind of walking down the bank. I had to get off the mountain, had to pack everything up. The storms got really bad, uh, and luckily we just made it back uh, down off the mountain where things are a little safer. Still windy but there's a lot, a lot of thunderstorms clapping in there. So we are going to actually head back to Texas now. Sadly, I didn't want to end on a, on a rain out, but mountains have just given us so many awesome views and awesome opportunities in the outdoors that, you know, it's bound to happen every once in a while. So thank you guys for, for tuning in to all the episodes up here in the mountains. And I just can't wait to, to get back start dumping footage and bringing all these videos that you guys are watching right now to the screen. Make sure to smash that like button for all the great views and just, I had an awesome time up here guys and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I'll see you on another outdoor adventure back in Texas.